Hey everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be looking at a Xbox Series X which I bought off eBay for £160 and £11.15 postage. This console was sold as faulty and apparently it's got a beep on beep off issue which means that when you turn the console on it will beep, it will make the normal chime and then it will just shut straight back off. So this has been sold as faulty on eBay and I'm rather annoyed at the seller to be honest with you because I specifically sent them a message just after I paid for this and said right I know that it's not your fault but can you please make sure that this is packaged properly because the last one of these I received from another seller came dented because it was wrapped in just bubble wrap and then just a black bag over the top of it or the black packaging material and they acknowledged me, they said, yes, that's fine, there's enough bubble wrap, blah, 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 it's been sent, you'll receive it Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. I actually received it today, which is Tuesday, but kind of beside the point. And lo and behold, it's dented, which is now devaluing this console because people don't want a dented console. And if I can't fix this, then I could have got £50 for the case. And I know that because I've already sold one at £50. So I could have easily got £50 for the case if it was in good condition and because it's now come dented and the dent wasn't there in the pictures I can't sell it for £50. I might get 30 if I'm lucky because it's got damage to it. But yeah, it is what it is. I have contacted the seller to see if I can get a partial refund. It is what it is. We'll see what we can do. But if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you do want to support me in any way, then you can head over to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking your Amazon Prime account to Twitch. And then that means you can subscribe for free. It does give me around about 250 a month, but it doesn't cost you a penny if you've got Amazon Prime. There's also a link to Patreon in the video description if you want to support me over on Patreon as well. But with that being said, let's get into this repair. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay, in association with Mazer Electronics, are hosting their fifth PCB design contest and this is their biggest design contest yet. By heading over to the link in the video description, you can enter your PCB designs and win a whopping $1,500 in cash, a $200 coupon, and a Raspberry Pi 4. Two second prize winners can win $1,000 cash, a $100 coupon, and of course the Raspberry Pi Model 4. And three third place winners will win $500 cash, a $50 coupon, and an Arduino Mega 2560 Rev 3. To learn more or to enter your project, simply head over to the link in the video description. Now back to the video. Okay, okay. So as you can see by this, we have a dent on the top. You can see it there that ding in the corner, and we also have a ding on this side as well, just there. So yes, it's not major, but it is still there, and it shouldn't be. So that's what annoyed me about this because it shouldn't have been this damaged. It's also come scratched as well, which wasn't in the original photos. So we've got some damage to the case here. Look, just here, 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 here. You get the drift. There's quite a bit of damage to the front of the case. It's all scratched up. That wasn't in the photos. So that's happened in shipping. If we take a look at the photos, it looks fine. It, do, it does kind of look like there's actually some damage here, but I think that's just the light. But we've got no scratches here. There's no ding in the middle. Fair enough, there's only one picture, so I can't see the back. But there's no ding in the middle of the top here. There's no scratches on this case, and it should have been absolutely fine. This base here, this bottom circle base, that came off. That was literally loose inside the bubble wrap. But as you can see here, we've got £160 £11.15 postage and it says Series X console forte been open to see inside but can't see what the problem is no power with fan spin not sure what that means sending for spares only blah 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 I like fine whatever but yes I know this isn't much I don't I know it doesn't or I know it's not cost much in you know in respect to what they usually cost I mean I paid £260 for one a few days ago which I actually released a video on I'll leave a link to that in the top right corner but I know it's not a lot in terms of the normal cost of these. They're going for around about 200, 220, but that's not the point. 
I paid £160 based on the condition I saw here. And that's what I was paying for. I was paying for this, and instead I got this. So all dinged up, all scratched up, etc. Which is what annoys me. So yeah, I am pretty annoyed about it, if I'm being completely honest with you. And honestly, I'm just fed up of eBay sellers just not caring when they're selling faulty items. Presuming that's just because it's faulty, it doesn't matter what happens in shipping. Well, actually, it does matter. And I'll buy these because I want to repair them. Not because I want to strip them down for parts. I only strip them down for parts when I need to. I want to bring these back to life. But yeah, I mean, even looking at it like that, it just looks ugly. It looks ugly now, and it's devaluing the console. But anyway, as you can see here, we have a beep on beep off. It literally beeps for a second, and then it turns off. It's definitely been opened. It's definitely been messed with. We've got the sticker missing there, and this sticker here is, well, just completely ragged off like no one gives a damn. But hey-ho. So I'm going to get this apart. And then we'll see what we can do about fixing it. Alright, so the first thing I'm noticing when I actually get inside this is mainly the fact that it's still quite dusty. So I don't think much would have been done to this. I mean, that's not really a surefire way of knowing, but yeah, it's not incredibly dust. Uh, or rather, it's not been cleaned massively, so... Yeah, I don't know how much would have been done to this, but I don't think it'd have been much if it hasn't been cleaned out properly. You know, if usually when people attempt to repair, they at least clean as they go. So maybe they've just opened it up and then scratched the red a little bit. I don't know. You know, I don't have a clue, but either way, I'm just hoping that no one's done anything stupid in here, like reflowed anything or anything like that. But we'll see. I mean, the odd thing is they've put black screws in here. So it's obviously someone that just doesn't know what they're doing. Because they are the wrong screws for definite. And they've put a random Phillips screw in there. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Amateur. A random Phillips screw. So I have to change the screwdriver for one little screw. It doesn't belong there. Thank you, Mr. Amateur. You are ever so kind to me. So let's hope that's the matching disk drive. Whoops. And the screw's missing all over the place. Oh, of course there is. Thank you, Mr. Professional. It's got all the wrong screws in all the wrong places here. Hmm. Don't even know where that screw's come from. But that is not the correct screw. Wow. One, two... Three, four, five. Five screws missing just from there alone. Three screws are the wrong screws on the case. Three screws are the wrong screws here. Wow. All right, let's find out just how bad this actually is, shall we? I don't have high hopes for this already, to be honest. I'm already starting to get bad feelings about this console being kind of beyond, beyond repair. I'll be honest. I'm already getting bad feelings about this console. Oh, wow. Wow. Good God. It 
it's got major trace damage on the HDMI port. That's not going to stop it from turning on, by the way. However, the SSD would, potentially. So, I might need to test that. But what I can do, just to see, you know, just to see if we have an actual SSD issue itself, I could just test it without the SSD and just see if it powers on without the SSD in there. So if it, if it attempts to power up without the SSD in there, then that could indicate a power, an SSD issue. However, if it stays off, or if, it's, or if it stays the same rather, then that could indicate an issue with one of the boards. And to be honest, I'm already feeling like I've been scammed here. Genuinely, I'm feeling like I've been scammed here. So let's just try the SSD. I think this is a repair shop, to be honest. I think this is a repair shop and I think they do know what's wrong with it. They've probably already attempted repairs on this, to be honest. I've got a bad feeling about this one, I'll be honest. So it's already had major rework done in terms of someone's torn a load of traces. Alright, let's see if it's got any change when the SSD is unplugged. No. Wow, even the power button has been taken out in the past. That's too loose. Yeah, so that is no change at all with another SSD, or with no SSD in there. And if it was the SSD, then that would give me a change. I'm going to plug it in anyway, though, to the computer and just read it and just see if it actually loads anything. All right, it's just picked something up. And that is reporting that the SSD is good. Wow. I can't get this console working ever. I can never get this console working. There's no partitions. It's been formatted. It's literally been wiped. I cannot fix this console. Yep. This is literally an expensive brick. It's literally an expensive brick. And this is going back. This <laughs> You cannot format an Xbox Series X or Series S SSD. You can't. You just can't do it. They are paired to the console. I released a video yesterday about this exact issue where the SSD had become corrupted and I had to try and clone the drive using my drive cloning tool just to be able to get the console to boot again. And in fact, that console is literally down there right now waiting to be stripped back down for a service. This console that I've got in front of me right now is a brick. It can never, ever be fixed. I am <laughs> more than annoyed right now more than annoyed let's just see what other damage this shambles of a person has actually done to this before i actually end the video i want some video proof and also i've started the video now i'm going to make some content out of it and at least get some of my time back but this console is going back let's just have a look i'm not going to attempt any repairs on this but let's just have a look at the shambles that i've left this console in this is incredibly incredibly annoying this console is literally a brick like i said i've got an ssd you may have noticed it I've got an SSD right there. That has come from the console I worked on yesterday. The one that I actually bought from eBay for £260. So I paid a lot more for it. And I managed to fix it. I knew there was something off about this console. And this console is going back. I'm not going to pay £160 for a brick. I can go to a brickyard and get a whole crate of bricks for that price. I'm not paying £160 for a brick. It's not acceptable. 
I'm sick of eBay sellers like this. I think they can get away with it. No. Just no. Not at all. Let's just have a look at the chambles I've left this in, shall we? And actually, yeah. <laughs> They've completely wrecked it. <laughs> wow. They've completely wrecked it. Just, wow. This is a regulator for the ESDIC. I believe it's some sort of 5 volt regulator. Wowza, what the hell have you done? This is the ESDIC. That has been completely destroyed. You can actually see a solder ball under there. Good Lord, this person needs to quit what they're doing and go back to the drawing board. How? How do you do this? Seriously, how do you do this to a consult? More to the point, how do you ever pass that off as good? All right. How do you ever pass that off as good? The HDMI port? Ruined. <laughs> wow. You can't sell this as faulty for spares and repair without declaring this kind of damage. But there's just, you, how do people sleep at night? This guy surely can't think that he's going to get away with this. I've seen enough. How do you do that to a board and then not just stop and give up? And more to the point, why would you format the SSD ever? Morons. Absolute morons. Anyone who is working on a console or any PCB of that matter, when you tear traces, fine, you've made a mistake. But then when you end up tearing traces off a tiny little component that should never have been removed in the first place, you should probably stop and think. Yes, you've still made a mistake but you should probably stop and think, am I doing something wrong? And then when you blindly take out an SSD in a console which is paired, and there's plenty of documentation online to show that it's paired, and just wipe it, thus destroying any chance of ever getting this console to boot again, because the unique key has been deleted from the SSD, then you need professional help and not help from a technician. Honestly, I wish I was making this stuff up. I really do. I wish this, I wish this was just a meme video and I wish I could just laugh, just laugh at the end, but I really can't. This guy or this, oh, I can't even say guy really, this person has destroyed this console. They have ruined any chance of ever getting this working again. This is a, now a, basically a very expensive brick. It can't be fixed. No matter how much work I do to this board, it cannot be fixed. Well, unfortunately, I've just wasted everyone's time. I apologise for that. But hopefully this just shows the kind of shambles that we have to put up with on eBay. Uh, more to the point, the kind of shambles we have to put up with from Microsoft as well. Because if it wasn't for the fact that these SSDs were paired, and, you know, this... Uh, SSD here if it wasn't for the fact that this tiny little SSD something that has always been replaceable in the past you can replace them in laptops you can replace them in um, normal consoles so Xbox One's PlayStation 4's you can replace the hard drive you can replace the hard drive in your TV box for goodness sake but because Microsoft they decided to pair these little things to the console for no other reason than to just piss us off and because of that, neither myself nor any other technician in the third-party repair industry can ever fix this console because we've got no way of recovering the unique key. And that is all she wrote. So, yeah, I apologise that this isn't going to be a repair video. Uh, you know, it is interesting to see just how bad some people actually are and I'm actually going to say that this person should stop. This person should really stop. <laughs> there's nothing I can do with it unfortunately so yeah I'm sorry it wasn't successful 
but unfortunately it's just completely out of my hands until we find a way to actually bypass these or until Microsoft pulls the finger out their ass and actually does something about it so as we can replace these things because there's no reason why we can't there's no security implications you know I replaced an SSD yesterday by using it on a clone machine luckily that was just corrupt and I could actually clone it but even that it needs literally a hundred pound cloning device to be able to do it it literally needs a hundred pound cloning device just to be able to do it and uh, until Microsoft pull the finger out their arse and actually do something about it then we're going to be in this situation where we're going to get absolute morons on eBay who decide to completely wipe the, com the SSD for no other reason than stupidity and it's going to render this device useful useless permanently so I hope you found this video useful in some way. I don't even know what to say for the outro. I hope you found it useful in some way. Um, just be vigilant on eBay. I'm going to open a dispute on this because I can get my money back on this and I will get my money back on this. It's not as described. None of this was in the description. There was no prior repair attempt in the description apart from I've opened it up. Uh, no, mate, you've opened it up and you've destroyed it. I will open a dispute on this as not as described or doesn't match photo or descriptions and yeah i'm gonna get my money back and uh i guess that's the point of this video to say that just because something's sold as spares and repairs it doesn't mean that you are in deep water uh you can get your money back ebay will protect you and i will win this case so that's gonna be it for this video thank you very much for watching if you do have any comments or questions leave them down in the comment section down below i'll always do my best to answer if you do want to organize a repair like i said you can head over to the link in the video description and you can book in a repair consolefix.co.uk that will take you to my website where you can book in a repair I do take on repairs for the public I'm not just a YouTuber I do actually fix stuff as well for the public so yeah get in touch if you do want to organise a repair and uh, hopefully I can help you out sometimes we get other technicians who've worked on them and they end up doing stuff like this but uh, for the most part they are usually at least with a fighting chance of being repaired if you do want to support me in any way if you feel sorry for me you probably shouldn't because it's my own fault but you can head over to Twitch and become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking an Amazon Prime account to Twitch and then becoming a paid subscriber, which is free for you, but it does actually help me out. It gives me around about 250 for everyone that does it, and I really do genuinely appreciate it. There's also a Patreon link in the video description as well as some affiliate links on Amazon. You can support me that way as well. And also, don't forget to subscribe because it turns out that about 55% of viewers are not subscribed. So, yeah, help me out. Make me look popular. Make my parents look proud of me. Make my parents look proud of me. <laughs> Make my parents proud of me. And hit the subscribe button. But for now, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. I'm going to go cry in the corner. Bye for now.